first the brown ones were introduced, then these so-called seven colours, and then later the royal discus. Discus fish have been bred in Penang since the beginning of the 70s. Today, the island is one of the most successful discus breeding centres in Asia. There are approximately 90 to 100 small and five or six big breeding facilities. Because of the climatic conditions, most of the breeding facilities are on the ground floor and are enclosed to ensure enough shade. Because Penang has a typical tropical climate, there are no difficulties with temperature when keeping discus fish outdoors, as opposed to Hong Kong. Even the small breeders in Penang have mostly larger facilities with a corresponding number of aquariums. What began with a few old aquariums with iron frames has been quickly modernized. For the most part, the turquoise or the royal blue variations are in circulation as breeding stock for discus fish. Nauplia from Artemia salina, which can be bred from eggs in old beverage bottles without any trouble and then usually poured directly into the aquarium along with the salt water, is fed to the fry in the first few days. Many breeders feed adolescent and larger animals with tube effects which have been watered extensively in bowls or tubs, often under running water and with ventilation. In Penang, the importance of a good water quality, that means the constant removal of excrement and food residue for the health of the fish and a good development was recognized long ago. The breeding and rearing facilities here are, unlike in Hong Kong, nearly always connected to residential buildings and for protection against the often scorching sun are well shaded. House and discus rooms make up a unit. The large facilities with several hundred aquariums are also constructed as an annex to a residential building. There is no separate lighting for the aquariums. The natural lighting that in part comes from transparent roofs has to suffice for observation, for work, and for breeding and care. The water changes are generously made by using voluminous water hoses. With the help of a system of distribution pipes, there is always enough air for the oxygen enrichment of the water. Piggyback filters, similar to those used in Hong Kong, are also used here to improve the water quality. For the fry, freshly hatched nauplia from Artemia are the smallest live food on the menu. Surprisingly, larger animals are fed lots of tube effects that have previously been soaked extensively in water. It is a food that discus fish like to eat, and when it comes from clean and unpolluted waters, they can eat it without damage to their health. Nevertheless, one should be careful. One of the largest breeders in Penang is Teok Ben Chai. His farm, which lies south of Georgetown, is also kept in an annex to the house, whereby the breeding pairs are kept in the house. Mr. Teok breeds selected pairs. He calls his special fish Brilliant Blue, but he also breeds other color variations. The breeding tanks have no fittings whatsoever. There is also no spawning substratum, such as clay vases, rocks, or plastic pipes. Therefore, the animals spawn directly onto the glass. The water used for breeding comes directly out of the tap and is not processed. Apparently, the water is soft to middle hard. The breeders generally do not know the exact data. Only the pH value is measured frequently and lies between 6.5 and 7.0. It is not exactly the ideal water for discus breeding. As a result, the hatching rate is not especially high. 
Because often up to 80% of the eggs become infested with fungus, and to protect the few developing embryos from being eaten before they hatch, the clutch is covered with a coarsely meshed wire, so that the parent fish can see their eggs and care for them by using the water movement, but it is impossible for them to eat them. The wire may first be removed when the embryos have hatched from their egg sacs and hang on to the substratum as larvae, while apparently the wriggling of the larvae inhibits their parents from eating them, and therefore they continue taking care of the brood. The breeding pairs are mainly fed with red mosquito larva bloodworms. After about 10 days, the young fish receive artemia as the first supplementary food. What are the larger adolescent discus fed? I give big discus, only two beef face, beef heart, and blood worms. A large amount of live food is always on hand to feed the numerous hungry mouths. Approximately 100 breeding pairs produce, according to the hatching rate, a large number of young fish that must be solicitously cared for. A varied diet as well as good water quality guarantee a healthy development. How often is the water changed in the aquariums, which are partly occupied with many fish? I change the water two times daily. Because all bits of leftover food and waste are removed with every change of the water, and because of the large amounts of fresh water used, there is hardly any chance for disease. Because of this high quality care, the discus fish develop in a healthy manner. The temperature of the water is generally between 28 and 30 degrees Celsius. Usually the water comes out of the tap with a temperature of 28 degrees or higher. Three large water tanks next to the facility increase the amount of water pressure if needed or serve respectively as a reserve or provide warmer water due to the higher daytime temperatures. This farm has approximately 150 aquariums and approximately 10,000 fry are produced here every year. When asked about his hopes for the future, Mr. Teok replied that he would like to breed golden discus fish one day. How and when this might come about is still in the stars, but without hopes and dreams, the future is bleak. The fact of the matter is that this farm already produces very fine discus fish. How much the aquarium with the unusual fish will play a part in the future remained unknown. Are they only remnants, or are they already the testing sortiment for new experiments? Aside from the small and larger breeder, there are also specialists. Ronnie Chu is one of them with his farm. In his nearly 60 aquariums, he has limited himself to breeding only a few special discus color variations. In approximately three to four years of work, and with an intensive and careful selection, he has succeeded in cross-breeding a new and very appealing color form, which he calls the golden rainbow. It is a new, very beautiful and appealing colour form that has distant parallels to other new colour variations, but in comparison, the golden rainbow lacks the black colourings on the body and fins. Ronnie Chu attends to the golden rainbow and a variation of the so-called ghost discus, the gold head ghost, which is an attractive enhancement of the ghost discus originating in Penang. In this case as well, normal tap water is used for general care and breeding. The tap water, which is often cloudy, is middle hard and has a pH level of between 6.5 and 6.8. For regular care as well as breeding, the water temperature is kept at around 30 degrees Celsius, which is achieved by heaters on cooler days when the temperature drops to 25 to 28 degrees. This happens above all during the rainy season because the water cools down and comes with a temperature of 25 to 26 degrees Celsius out of the tap. Only around 4,000 discus fish are bred each year in this comparatively small facility, mainly because of the specialization. The reproduction of the golden rainbow is especially interesting. Still, Ronnie Chu is at the very beginning with this breeding line. 
How many golden rainbow breeding pairs does he have at the moment? At the moment, I have eight pairs. As the first breeder of this new color variation, Ronnie Chu devotes special attention to these fish. Their bill of fare includes beef heart, beef and muscle meat. Young fish are fed shrimp eggs and a mixture of beef heart, muscle meat and artemia. On the fifth or sixth day, fry receive freshly hatched nauplia from Artemia salina, and at this point, they are separated from the parents, possibly somewhat early. That the young fish and the parent animals must be attended to very carefully is obvious. A question for Ronnie Chu. What are the breeding animals fed? My breeding animals receive the same food as all the other fish. Despite all of the care taken, the new line of Golden Rainbow is full of surprises. Ronnie Chu also hopes for the future that the six breeding aquariums will always be filled with many healthy and beautiful offspring. The Golden Rainbow, a color variety created by Ronnie Chu and possibly the Gold Head Ghost as well, will soon enthuse the world of discus lovers. They will most probably conquer the hearts of the aquarist in a triumphal march. Bangkok, in the Thai language Krang Tep, the city of angels, the capital of Thailand, is one of the constantly growing metropolis in Southeast Asia. Bangkok, it is seething traffic that stifles everything, metropolis breaking at the seams, boundless industry, and despite it all, smiling and friendly people. Bangkok, it is also splendidly restored exotic temple grounds, Above all, the large complex of the Grand Palace with its sacral district, whose entry gates are guarded by the yaks, the giant guard figures. Gilded Naga snakes and Garanda figures adorn the different temples. Gates decorated with mother of pearl, as well as carefully gilded gables, embellish the reverentially cared for places of prayer and monastery buildings. A golden pagoda is a splendid landmark on these grounds. The temple grounds of the Wat Pra Kyo is one of the largest tourist attractions of the country and links the history of old Siam with present-day Thailand. Bangkok. It is, aside from all of the industry, also the love for animals. This is not only evident in the unusually large number of animals presented at the Sunday and weekend markets. Aside from dogs, cats and other animals, very many aquarium and pond fish are offered for sale here. An unusually wide-ranging sortiment for a partially mobile market that is only open three days a week. Bangkok made a name for itself in the field of aquaristics quite early with the export of aquarium fish. Important export companies have supported these efforts for many years. Well-known and long-established companies like Star Aquarium keep extensive holding facilities for this purpose. In 500 aquariums and numerous large cement tanks, the fish are kept here in interim so that they are prepared to be transported throughout the world. Just how large the number of aquarium fish breeders and merchants is in Bangkok and the region is shown by the wide range of offered goods at the fish market that takes place once a week and shouldn't be confused with the Sunday or weekend markets. Here, aquarium fish are pre-packed in small and large plastic bags according to their species and size and sold for retail sale. Merchants buy their products here. At this market, one very seldom finds the exporter as a buyer. The opinion is often wrongly held that the fish offered here do not meet the criteria for export and therefore are second rate. That the best animals are exported anyway. But that is an assertion that cannot be confirmed after a visit to this market. For the most part, there are many different species on sale. Aside from the typical Thai fish, the Pla Cat, known as the Siamese fighting fish better splendens, there are also discus fish in various sizes. Mostly adolescent fish can be found here, but there are also large sexually mature breeding fish. The color blue is predominant here too. 
Aside from these and many other species, one can also find for special occasions these so-called dyed fish that are brilliantly colored for a few weeks because of a